All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Octopath Traveler. And we have a, a step up banner that also came and I wanted to give you guys an update on that. And also just a, a few quick words on Heathcote as he ended up skipping over Hanat as the first character to come after release for us. So uh, let's take a look this quickly at this uh, step up banner. When you're looking here, it is a nice little uh, ruby reduction in the first three steps. So if you're just kind of looking at maybe shooting out there to see if you get anything, at least maybe step one, that's 50% off of the banner. So that's uh, that's pretty good there. Now, I do think uh, both of these units are pretty good, but they're also standard banner units. But if you're looking just to kind of go in, maybe pick up some, you know, some five stars along the way, this isn't uh, too bad of a way to go. However, I do want to caution, it says um, on step five that it, it is a five star uh, guaranteed but if you look over here in the details and you go to that step up down there it says guaranteed future five-star traveler in slot 10 uh, this is this is a mistake for, for whatever reason they had the wording in there wrong it's really just any of the uh, uh, the five stars are going to be guaranteed in that last slot not necessarily the uh, the rate up one so do take that in mind uh, it looks like on this screen down at the bottom it says get a five star traveler guaranteed that's really what it is uh, when you go into the details that is a very misleading uh, statement that they have there I imagine this will get rectified I have no idea whether or not they'll compensate anybody for it but be aware that it is not um, guaranteed to be a uh, Sophia or Fiora there so um, also just looking over at Heathcote I do think this is definitely a unit that you're going to really like uh, and I'll tell you why if you're looking for somebody who can kind of help you with the shields. He definitely has that ability with this uh, the, this triple burst, so it's a three hitter, and it lowers shield points even when it's not the weakness. So this is going to be the main sort of thing on Heathcote that I think people are going to be really, really liking. And I think he is still rated very highly in JP. Uh, and this, you know, this is part of that. The, uh, he also has like access to the wind damage of AOE two times to folks and then lower shield points even when it's not the weakness so definitely something to take into account when you're thinking oh man do i uh, do i want to pull for this unit or do i want to pull on the on the uh the right up banner or wait for another unit uh i do think heathcote is going to be a very good unit for folks to be able to just be able to knock down shields easier and i think that's kind of what people might be looking for earlier on here in the game and so it's kind of nice that he is actually the first unit because you can kind of plug and play him anywhere into your team and kind of fill any hole as you're waiting for other units or whatever that you kind of want um, to be, you know, before switching him out for that. So anyway, I just wanted to get uh, a quick video out there just going over this, uh, the step up banner and just be cautious on that. And uh, there's some information on Heathcote since we, uh, uh, we uh, went over and did a, a Hanette video if you haven't seen that. She should be coming out probably the next banner and uh, so you can take a look um, at, at the video for that. So that's been my two cents.